What is up guys, WW1 Superstar here, and today I'm going to bring you some um, Survival World Tour. This is going to be my awesome Survival World, uh, it's the one I spend all my time on, on Minecraft. And I think it's pretty cool, it's still in the making, so it's not completely done. But I'd also like to give you a little update on uh, the giveaway. The giveaway I would like to do for 50 subscribers, so I'll probably do it when I reach 50 subscribers, um, it will be early September, like I'm going to give the whole month of August, just solid month of August, and then early September, if I have 50 subscribers by then, then um, I'll do the giveaway, if not, then I'll wait for 50 subscribers, it could be like my 50 special or something like that, so if you guys want that giveaway as soon as possible, tell your friends, and or make fake accounts, I don't really care, and subscribe. For, so I reach 50 and I'll do the giveaway or um, like very beginning of September and I'm planning I, I enjoy your suggestions but with people wanting to get a variety of stuff I cannot satisfy everyone I am thinking I'm not totally sure I am thinking about just giving away a bunch of Amazon gift card codes and on Amazon you can buy PS4 PSN codes Xbox Live codes you can buy microphones or you could put this towards any game thing or really anything so it's really an all-around win so i hope you guys en will enjoy that or so that was just a little update but let's jump right in if you don't know about the giveaway and you're watching my channel for the first time make sure to subscribe and go check that video out it was two videos or so ago for me but let's jump right in quite literally as i'm going to die and <laughs> i just lagged a ton and i should probably put um this on tiny to get the best quality because it's really laggy now because i kind of just joined the world to start it off and it's a little better now. Okay. Now I need to find my ender pearls. <laughs> Crack. I lost my ender pearls. I, found, I had 16 more. And they just disappeared. What happened to them? Oh, well, I guess we don't need ender pearls for this. Uh, let's start off with this, the what I was standing on. This is my mob grinder. It spawns a variety of mobs, and basically it's dark in there. And when you press this button, I'm on peaceful, so it won't do anything. But when you press this button, it's going to send the redstone signal, putting water out on little ledges, pushing the mobs down into a pool, putting them down here, reaching them to half a heart where I can one one hit them with my fists, and then it goes around here to turn the water back off to allow more mobs to spawn. So uh, that's a nice little thing, and down here I might as well show you. It's pretty cool. It's a little bit of a train ride, if I can get on the train. There we go. And let's give. <laughs> okay, so in this world, um, if you notice those little villagers in glass cases, for those of you who do not know what that is, uh, I don't know if there is a YouTube video on that or not. But basically, zombies are attracted to villagers over people, so that means if you're standing anywhere, the zo any zombies will spawn there and go to um, those villagers, and they will not attack you, and you can also get some XP. But this is our um, zombie grinder, and basically, here, there's a zombie spawner above me. They fall down, they take um, down to half a heart, then they hit, a at the bottom, there's also a pressure plate with a little bit of a delay, so they take take it down to half a heart, the piston pushes them off here, I might be able to show you a little bit here, uh, there's no more openness, I kind of removed all the openness, but behind this wall, there's a piston that pushes them into a little river, it moves them along the river, and then with a water elevator, they will come back up to, crap, there goes that, they'll come back up to right here where you can hit them, there's also a hopper at the bottom, so when the, some items will fall and be caught with the hopper. So basically, what you what we used to do is that we would have to go down and get everything and like kill them, and they wouldn't spawn up here. But now we can just sit up here and just kill them. Makes it a lot easier. But that's really the whole purpose of this room back here. So let's just move right along on the train again. And there is a castle here. There's a castle that we started, but we're not we're we didn't finish it and we're probably never going to finish it at least not for a really long time because I built this on a, I built it on a server after I started it because I made a design on the server like a really long time ago and it turned out really good 
and I rebuilt it on the server after I started building on here. I realized how much work that's going to be without fly because I have fly on the server. But you want some, you lose some. So I don't know why there's a hole here. But this is our AFK sugarcane farm. This is basically all the sugarcane when it grows. The pistons automatically push. Oh, hold on. <laughs> pistons automatically push it over into the water, and it gets caught in here creating a bunch of sugar cane, which we use to make into, oh, there went some sugar cane right now, so the piston splash, and I could do a tutorial in the future on this, uh, it's just a little contraption here, but, yeah, we trade paper a lot with villagers, so that's what we use, I can't believe I lost my, uh, ender pearls, wait, oh yeah, found them, and in here, um, we don't have sticky pistons because we use slime chunk binders and none of them actually work. And it sucks. So this is our about 50% efficiency melon farm and pumpkin farm. You press the button and it just smashes them and some fall in the water, some do not. It's not very good, but you know, we have a ton of food so it does not really matter. We just kind of built it for fun, you know, just for funsies. I learned that from my little cousin funsies apparently that's what all the little kids are saying uh here is uh our automatic sorting machine excuse my random noises because i have a dry mouth right now i should probably get a drink but you know what you're gonna do about it so this is our automatic sorting machine you put something up in here here i'll put four under pearls up in here It'll go all the way around, drop into the correct chest. Anything that does not get collected will be dropped in the miscellaneous chests. And four ender pearls should end up in the ender pearls chest because I took all the ender pearls out sometime today. Oh, they went right there. I forgot it. I had to remove everything because it was glitching out, so I had, didn't have anything in the ender pearls. But yeah <laughs> so that it works just believe me I could do I could make a automatic um three automatic uh machines part two even though because I mean I have more this is our automatic furnace machine you put the items in here it goes into these chests and it cooks right here and all the finished product goes right there here's our square lake man-made lake with our iron golems yes iron golems galore and I get really laggy when I come down here. I don't, it's not even that many mobs. I'm not sure why. But, and here's our horses. A little stable. This is a minecart track to the uh, ender portal. This was the first house we made. Uh, we still have the stronghold and the nether fortress coordinates. And I'm glitching out. Uh, beds, and we have a snow golem. I don't know why. Our sheep pen, because we just had to have a sheep pen. We made gravel paths everywhere, and too, wi too wide is just really not a good idea, but it was too late. And this is our AFK cactus farm. Basically, when the cactuses grow, it gets hit by the block. It flies off into the water and gets collected. We have not used cactus once in this world, but we made it. This was a failed attempt at making an AFK melon farm. Uh, there is a way to do it with sticky pistons, and I was trying to figure out a way to do it without sticky pistons, because like I said, we cannot seem to find stick, um, slimes anywhere. So, this is just sitting there for no reason at all. As we move down the line over here, we have our sheep breeding and cow breeding. They go into here, and basically, I, I did a little breeding beforehand, and I don't know why I'm really laggy. I've been laggy on this world lately because we did a lot of work. But you press this button and it'll catch them all on fire. And they all fall in there. And we get wool. And over here, kill the cows. And we should get leather and steak. Yeah. There we go. We got all that stuff. Turn off breed mode. Get to keep breed mode on to, um, keep the babies from going back up with the regulars. This is an AFK chicken farm we made in the survival world. I also did this in my three automatic machines tutorial. Uh, basically, when this is up, feed me. It will either feed you eggs or chicken. Mine's on chicken, so it's giving me chicken. 
if you put it on breed them, all the eggs will go up there to breed them. And I have it on lava because we have plenty of chicken. Here's our cow farm. Uh, my friend made this. I don't really understand how it works. Um, I'm pretty sure this is, just kills one or two pigs. And yeah, you get a bunch of pork chops. This is kind of cool. It's our villager hotel. Uh, yeah. Kind of speaks for itself. There's a bunch of villagers down there. And it's just our villager hotel. And please excuse the lag and any bad sound quality. Like I said, guys, sorry, my recorder just cut out. Um, I was, I was apologizing for any bad sound quality because I'm using my internal mic, which often, often times is not very good. But it could be last time it actually turned out okay. But excuse any keyboard or mouse here, things you hear. And also, I said excuse the lag. Uh, I, my friend has a gaming PC, so we kind of just made a bunch of stuff not thinking about how laggy my computer will get because I am getting a gaming PC soon so I will have good quality in the future for all you guys that are you might want to look forward to that but this is our villager hotel there's basically three um, rows of doors with villagers down there that breed and once we're done with that we can continue on to our villager basement this in preparation for 1.8 where villager breeding is going to be increasingly difficult we have made a villager basement with just doors everywhere. And this is going to get really laggy, guys. I apologize. But as you can see, they're still breeding. And when we left this on hard, and it killed them all. But when this is when they're done breeding, this whole room is just solid villagers. As you can see by how, many, how much they're breeding. But it's solid villagers when they're done. We have two layers of doors. There's about um, three inventories of doors per row and then there's about two and a half for this um top row right here because it takes less doors because it's on the in inner part but that is enough to make a couple hundred villagers so this whole room is um solid with villagers when they're done breeding so that's going to be in preparation for 1.8 i'm going to hurry up and get out of here because i do not want this to take any longer than it has to at, down here because it really sucks with the lag spikes and all and we've had to dig out this entire chunk. This was supposed to be a slime slime spawning room because the slime chunk finder said this would spawn slimes. So we dug down there and opened up a giant room. And it never spawned slimes on hard difficulty. So we dug around the edges and put doors because there has to be sunlight on one side of the door to make villagers breed. And we put two villagers down there from our villager hotel and now we're set for 1.8. And now we're going to go up on top of the mountain here, where all, where I have, a, where the mansion, can't spit it out, where the mansion and the two iron golem farms we have. And we also tried to turn that into an iron golem farm beforehand, but it was too close to default spawning village, which messes with them, so it didn't work, so now it's just a villager farm. Here's our mansion, it's a simple mansion, um, it's the first mansion I ever built, I did not use any tutorials, obviously, because it sucks. Well, it doesn't suck. It looks good, but it's really simple. And here's our iron golem farm. Let's see, is there anything uh, for iron? I just checked this not too long ago. We planted all the poppies everywhere, and we're going to run over to the other one over here, and it looks like there's an iron golem on the ground almost. Yeah. I'll probably have to get rid of him. When there's an iron golem on the ground, it stops spawning them, so I'll have to get rid of you. So now let's move into the mansion. Here's our little oak wood thing. Keeps them from spawning giant trees. We just plant and then mo um, bone meal them, then mow them all down for a ton of wood. But let's go to the mansion. We have never used this mansion once. I literally built it, and as soon as I was done, we never went in it again. So this is like the third time I've ever been in this mansion. Uh, that just shows how like stuff how much stuff we have left to build when we're just building mansions for fun and it's really just empty it's really simple but it was the first mansion I ever built I like it cuz it has basically three rooms oh well you know it basically has three rooms the front room up here where it has a nice view uh, the upstairs good storage area and the downstairs which is like a living slash storage area and I did on Desirecraft put uh, furnaces all up around in those behind those stairs for a giant furnace. 
room. Uh, did I show... No, I did not show the farm. I showed the melon farm, not the farm. It's in the same area, though. It's this giant building. Our biggest building, besides for the chest room. The chest room kind of stands out because we made out different materials. Or really, I made out different materials. I'm the only one that built it. But this is our farm. We press this button, and all the water comes down and pushes it into these hoppers. It goes into here. There are slabs there from something. Oh, probably building this bridge. To the melon farm in a side room. So, when, that's our farm. Uh, there's really only two more things to show you, and one's just basically a <laughs> castle that we made and never used. But I'll show you it anyway. So, if we go over here, hopefully I don't have to go all the way, because it's going to be pretty much useless use this trip. Random piece of wheat. Uh, where, there it is. Uh, just to point a little scale out, this is only a fourth of the height, and it's made out entirely out of stone or stone brick, besides for the floors, which are oak wood. So, that would use a ton of resources, and it's really hard to build. So, or not hard, but really complicated and time consuming. So, we just ditched it. And really, I was the only one building it. I, my friend never helped. But if we finish it, it'd be awesome. It's probably going. We're probably going to finish it eventually. But I'm pretty sure our next project is going to be an automatic brewing room. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't show you our shed. We have a little shed, which has our utilities and chanting and stuff. As I lag as I go past the all the farms, because all the animals are in one block. This is our old chest room. Uh, it, we ran out of space, and now it's just an empty room. And this was our old chicken farm, or just egg farm, really. We still have eggs in all the chests. Yeah. <laughs> we just basically killed them all. And then here's our shed. We have, this was the first furnaces we ever built. And we keep all our potions in there from these two. And we have our um, anvil and our enchantment table. And the back, the corners of these do not actually, um, aren't actually bookcases. These are the only bookcases that are visible are the only ones that are like in use. And it is level 30. I cannot show you because I don't have a tool. But it is level 30. So most people build the whole enchantment room and it's really just useless. And I'm gonna, the last thing I really need to show you is um the stronghold room. The nether we really didn't build anything in we just kind of found the nether fortress and we go there and kill some blazes. Our nether room is just a cobblestone building around the nether portal with um, a chest. So there's nothing to show in there, so I'm not going to waste you guys' time. I'm a little back behind the scenes of the automatic sorting machine. Oh wow, I forgot to replace the redstone right here. So that's going to cause some issues later. But. Let me just get in here, and this is going to, this is like a solid five minute ride, it is over 2,000 blocks away, so I will get back to you guys when I get there, because there's no reason to wait this long. Woo, just past halfway, it's been a solid two minutes, and now we're going to continue on our way, I just want to show that, that little bend takes forever. Okay, now that we made it all the way, uh, we're going to have to break our mine cards, because Cause um the when you go in the end it just sends you back to the spawn which is over there so you have to break your mine cards but I do not think we're gonna be going in the end cause there's nothing there there's just a bunch of little shelves to keep me safe when I kill Enderman and then the spawn place we haven't really done much in the end we're probably gonna build an Enderman farm to get awesome levels but that's really just about everything in this survival world. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. I will make sure to do a tour in the future when we get a bunch of new stuff and make it awesome. Er, and hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, check out that giveaway video for my giveaway for 50 subs when I reach it. And make sure to subscribe if you want a giveaway soon. And also, one last thing, guys. I'm going to leave this up to you. Do you. Would you want me to post a video saying there's a set time 
might reach 50 subscribers. So would you want me to post a video saying there's a set time for um a stream on Twitch? Because I do have a Twitch account, and I'll stream like Battlefield or something from my PS4, and would and basically do the giveaway on live with everyone in chat that wants in the giveaway. Or do you want me to just leave it in the comments and wait a month or so and let everyone enter and draw them out of a hat and basically, you know, see who wins. Uh, live, I will do it fairly no matter what, but on live, you guys will get constant proof that I am doing this randomly because if I get a camera, or I do have a camera, if I, if I want to get a bipod or tripod, whatever you call it, I will do a face cam, or not a face cam, because I'm going to do a face reveal for some big subscriber moment if I ever reach it, if I ever reach it, but I will, like, show me picking them out of a bucket or something, and just, just show everyone that's fair. So, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my, that video, and check out all my videos, might as well. So, thanks guys for watching, see ya!